Family, friends, and the GU community mourn the death of student Chris Gormley today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Gonzalez. And I'm Kalai Chalk. Nadine has the night off. That student was from Everett, but a memorial service was held today at his new home on the Gonzaga campus. The freshman died from hypothermia Sunday after his kayak rolled in Rock Lake. He and a group of students were led by a guide from the city of Spokane. KXLY 4 is Ian Cole joins us live tonight from Gonzaga, where the memorial service was held today. Ian? Yeah, friends and classmates of Chris Gormley say he'll be remembered as an exceptional student and outdoorsman, and although he just recently turned 18, a really great guy. Each tear wept, each note sung, and each prayer said inside this chapel today was made for Chris Gormley. He was just an all-around great guy, and I really looked up to him. His personality, smile, and intelligence were what made him special, as friends say. Many of them we talked with were in the honors program with him. They wore the program shirts today in his honor that jokingly say nerd. We got him into the honors program, and then we, both of us, we fought over him to be his uh, big sister in the honor program, honors program because that was a big uh, part of getting into the program. And we wanted him in. He had the we, most passionate oh, interview. Chris was a people person and curious about the world. He was also an experienced outdoorsman. On Sunday, Chris was kayaking in Rock Lake with the GU Outdoors Club and guided by a Spokane Parks and Recreation employee. High winds and choppy water capsized three of the kayaks, including Chris's. The temperature outside was 34 degrees, and by the time emergency crews arrived, Gormley had hypothermia. He was transported to Spokane by a MedStar helicopter where he died. The news shocked campus. We're all in one room and like trying to get a grasp on reality because it wasn't real to us. He's an amazing kid and it's just such a loss to everyone. He was really trying to like get out there and do everything he could to like contribute to this community. A life taken much too soon. His friends say he lived life to the fullest though and died what he loved most, exploring it. And everybody has some story because he was just the kind of guy who just, you can't make him up. He was so real. Now the Whitman County Sheriff's Office is investigating the incident, although they won't say whether or not it was a good idea that the group was out on the water. The city of Spokane is also not commenting, uh, but the Sheriff's Office is saying that kayakers are out on the lake almost year round. And also recently they rescued a group of people who were in a similar situation. Reporting live at Gonzaga, Ian Cole, KXY4 HD News.